Hi everyone. This is the Crystal Springs Aqua Cafe water cooler and coffee dispenser. I ordered one of these, oh, maybe two or three weeks ago, and for the life of me, I could not figure out how to use it. So I went online to try to find instructions. I couldn't really find anything. Uh, there's a sticker on the machine that kind of gives some instruction, but not enough for me. So when I finally figured out how to do it, I decided I was going to create a video for those of you who may be also having trouble with it as well. So I will be pointing out parts of the machine and how it works and how to make a really good cup of coffee. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, so I'm going to quickly tell you how this machine works because like I said in the last video, when I got this, I had no idea how to make coffee. So here it is. Okay, so here is your machine. All right. Now here on top is what I call the control panel. And here's a closer look at it. And this is where you choose the options that you want. You could choose coffee. You could choose uh, hot water, cold water. And there's also a light here, as you can see it right here, that controls the light on the machine. The light doesn't go out all the way. It just dims. So it's bright and it's dim. And that's what that is for. And then this is the uh, function button. This is what you press to get what you need done after you make your choices. What I like about this cooler is that it has an easy, easy bottom loading compartment. And here it is right here. It's very easy to get the five or three gallon water bottle into the compartment. All you have to do is remove the top of the, the plastic covering on top of the water bottle, and then you're going to replace it with this cap. And attached to this cap is a tube that goes down into the water. And then when you close the compartment, the water comes up through the tube and into this area so that you'll have access to the water. So once you put the bottle in and in the compartment and arrange it, it and close the compartment door, it takes a few seconds for the water to be available. All right, and that's what I like about this too. So it's very easy and uh, so that's all. The step that I'm about to explain now is very important as it will determine whether you get hot water or hot coffee. When I tried to get to make hot coffee for the first time, it didn't work and I couldn't figure it out. So I went online, still couldn't figure it out. And then I sat and I looked around the machine to see if there was something I could find to get hot water. And lo and behold, I saw this. Now when you get your machine, there's gonna be a sticker over this section of the off on switch and it gets some type of a warning. Well, what I did was I removed it and I flipped the switch to on. This is what it looks like in the on position. And once I did that, a few seconds later, I was able to get hot water. Hence, I, thus I was able to get hot coffee as well. So it's very, very important that you turn the hot tank switch to on. And like I said, I ignored the tape. I figured the machine came the way it was supposed to, but in doubt, call Crystal Springs or DS, DS services and ask them. But this is what I did. Hey, this is a closer look at the control panel. And I will point out which each one of these is and uh, very quickly, and then we'll move on. Here is your K cup symbol. This is what you push when you want to make coffee. All right, you'll push this and then, oh, let me say this. Before you make coffee, you're going to press this button and here there are coffee cups labeled SML, which means, of course, small, medium, large. You want to choose a size coffee cup before you make the coffee. I made a mistake and chose the wrong size and my cup overflowed. The water, the coffee overflowed my cup. So make sure you... Uh, Make sure you choose what size cup you want. This here is your hot water. Okay, here's your cold water. And here is that dimmer switch I was telling you about earlier. 
this right here is once you make your choice, this is the button you want to push. Okay. And I'll show you another picture of how it looks when you're, uh, you've pushed your K cup and you're ready to make your coffee. Okay. In order to make coffee, or by the way, you can make tea and hot chocolate as well. You're going to open the lid. There's a handle. You push it open and here is your K cup holder and here are your K cups. You can buy your K cups through your uh, service or you can buy them at the store. I just buy them at the store and you know they they range anywhere from I've seen them from $4.99 up to maybe $12.99, $13 but uh, so they are available and you just plop that in there and close the lid and then you choose your coffee function and I'll show you that next. So after you've chosen what size coffee, what size uh, coffee cup you have, you put your coffee cup on the little ledge here and this ledge here adjusts, okay? There's a lever underneath here that you can't see and you, it goes up and down, okay? So depending on the size of your cup or what have you, you can adjust it. You put your cup on the little holder and get ready to brew. Okay, so you've put your K cup in position. You've chosen, you've pushed your K cup button right here. You've chosen the size cup you have. You put your cup on the holder. Now it's time to brew. This light here, which is your brew light, or I call it the brew light, might flash. If it flash, it means your water is heating up to just the right temperature. Once it's done, you'll hear it beep and it will become solid red. It will look just like it is, like it does in this picture. That means you can press the button and wait for your coffee. If you take, if you take too long to press this button, it will default back to your cold water setting, which means this light will light up and this will be blue. Okay, all you have to do is press it again and then when it looks like this picture, you hit it, boom, your coffee is ready to go.